Eric with the Miller Park Minute here. Just going to do a brief, brief, brief talk about the Red Series. Um, really good started games by guys such as Jimmy, Willie. Lots of good things happening in this series. Yeah, we lost a game. We didn't sweep them. We, did, we broke the win streak. But the things we did see in this, this streak were great pitching by Willie. I mean, today's game was awesome. We saw Jimmy Nelson come back and pitch a great game and get a W. The Brewers also got above 500, which was awesome. Fucking awesome. Um, we haven't been there since, I believe they said April of 2015. I'm shooting off the hip here. I don't know that for sure. But we also had Eric Thames show up and hit five jacks that's awesome i think he's in the middle of a seven or eight game hitting streak i don't know the exact number sorry i'm not totally up to date on my stats um but jimmy having a great game really came out alone eh whatever he's a fill-in right now he's not going to be there long term um brawny showed up hit a couple home runs always does in cincinnati they played the shit out of that on the, the games. Um, pitching was there. You know, 3-0 for Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. Willie Peralta. Uh, Nelson, again, great numbers. I mean, just a hit parade on Friday night. It was fucking amazing. When the Brewers hit in one game... Historically, they do not show up the next night. They showed up the next night, but they lost. They stayed in the game on Saturday. Saturday, they were in the game the whole time. And I think with this lineup, this offense, it's very exciting to watch because you want them to stay in the game. You want them to keep keep fighting. I mean, that's what keeps me watching as a fan. I have been jacked to watch all the games just for that fact. Now, I don't get to watch all the games because I, I work, and I have to listen to them on the radio. But I'm jacked to watch these games because this lineup can hit. They can surprise us. They can do a lot of great things. The other cool, 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 cool part is when, when guys are stepping up to the plate, yeah, these rookies can't hit. But the other cool part is there's guys that are going to hit in this lineup. There are guys that come through. Travis Shaw, again, came through with a home run today, which was his birthday. Happy birthday, Travis Shaw. Those are the things that I see as exciting. Manny Pena is Pena Pena. I don't know what the hell it is, but he is hitting. He's playing well. I think we've won, like, most of his starts. Uh, Bandy, not so much, but I don't, you know. Is it the catcher's fault that they lose the game? No, not saying that. But at the end of the day, lots of excitement. It was a good series. Um, I don't, I can't think of any other highlights other than Thames and his freaking hit parade. Um, you know, Willie's good start and Jimmy's good start. The other highlights. Oh, Davies! I forgot about Davies. Sorry. Davies, my wife's favorite. Um, pitched a pretty good game. He gave up some runs early, but he's still to form. I, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about Davies. I think Davies will come out and have a great start. I, I probably jinxed it myself by saying that he was going to throw a no-hitter on the anniversary of Juan Davis's no-hitter. My bad. I get a little presumptuous. But, uh, yeah. Although, all in all, great series. Uh, going into Chicago, I look forward to going into Chicago. It's going to be awesome to see what we can do to the World Champion Cups. All right, that's all I got for today. Uh, the Miller Park Minute. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Blogspot, and uh, or Blogger, and WordPress. All that information is down in the links at the bottom of the page here. Just click on the more info. Hit that like, subscribe, follow me, 
follow me on all social medias. I'm everywhere. So um, thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time.